to go to for the how to you know that you want to get beautiful Hi Grimpers, welcome to the final five things I'm loving for 2010. I cannot believe how quickly this year has gone and I thought rather than going kind of all out with this one, I would give you five really basic must-have beauty products that we can kind of all need and all use all the time and they're all really reasonable as well. So, coming in at number five, I have the Orly Rich Renewal Peace Spice Vanilla and White Tea Hand Cream. Now, it's so important to nourish your hands and have a hand cream on hand. I keep mine on my desk and it just keeps your nails looking nice, your cuticles in shape and your hands super, super soft as well. Now, this one is $19.95, but what I love about it most is it smells amazing. If you love vanilla, then you are going to love this stuff. Um... And, you know, it's just beautiful. It's just really nice to have. It's a definite beauty must-have um, as it will just keep your skin all nice and healthy and happy, which is what we definitely want. So coming in at number four, Four is everyone needs a good red lipstick. It's just a must have. And this one that I have found by a brand called Arbonne um, is beautiful. It's like a really, ooh, there you are. It's like a really deep, rich red. It's it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and the, the texture is almost creamy. So it gives your skin, um, your skin, it gives your lips like a little bit of a glossy finish to it. So it's definitely not a matte, but it's this beautiful, deep, rich red color and I absolutely love 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 it it's $36 and it's up on and this color is um, scarlet and that is my pick for number four this week coming in at number three is a hair treatment mask now everyone who colors their hair and I guess even people that don't cover that color their hair because we're out in the sun and the elements and heat styling all the time and all these things just play havoc on our hair so it's really important to treat your hair I'd say twice a week to a beautiful rich treatment mask now this one is the Sebastian penetrate mask and it's $35 now what you do with this one is you leave it on your ends for two to three minutes don't put it all the way up to your roots because it will make you, your hair look a little bit greasy especially if you have fine hair but you just put it on the roots um kind of to damp hair leave it on for two to three minutes and then rinse it out again and it's just this beautiful milky bath of goodness that's going to make your hair smell amazing smells like a hairdresser you know that smell when you have freshly washed hair I don't know what hairdressers do but oh my hair always smells so much better when I leave a hairdresser. Um, so that's my pick for number three, Primpers. Coming in at number two is this Natio Real Women fragrance. Now it's only $19.95 and I just sprayed it in the office and all the girls were like, oh, what's that? It's really good. I can't believe it's only 20 bucks. It's really zesty, really light. It's actually quite, I mean, it's not unisex because I probably wouldn't recommend it for a guy, but it's not super sweet and girly. It's quite citrusy and lemony and just really fresh and I think you know a nice scent is always a must-have but it's also good to keep something like this just to kind of revive you I guess pep you up through the middle of the day um you can either have like a little fragrance like this that you spray on throughout the day otherwise a beautiful facial mist but I just think that you need something to pep you up especially around the late afternoon when you're starting to get a little bit tired so that's my pick for number two and coming in at number one is, of course, you need a really good solid foundation. And this is the new Max Factor Age Renew. Um, it's $36.50. And the texture is just beautiful. And I just think the search for the perfect foundation is always a tough one. But this one's got a really nice semi-matte finish. It just blends into your skin beautifully. So you just kind of feel like you're not wearing anything, which for me is a really important factor whenever I'm wearing foundation. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing any. Um, so this is my pick for number one. Here it is. Anyway, Primpers, it's been an amazing year with all of you. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in 2011. Um, but before you go, make sure you tell me what you think of these products. Have you found anything lately that you've really loved? Um, and I guess, what are your kind of staple beauty products that you need? What can't you live without? My list is obviously a whole lot longer than this, but, um, I could only fit five in. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all soon. Bye.